Good morning folks and welcome to Sunday's edition of Jag Lives. Right, so here we are hanging in the washing out this morning. Now I got a good tip from a lady at the bingo the other day for hanging up washing. She said, if you wear it on the top, hang it from the bottom. If you wear it on the bottom, you hang it from the top. So basically so for trousers, because you wear them on the bottom, you hang them from the top, from the waistband. And a shirt you wear on the top, so you hang it from the tails of the shirt. Nice tip for you there. Now the lady who lives up the stairs from us, Marion, she always looks after this garden. She's got it looking really, really nice. So we buy her some little solar ornaments and gnomes and things for her to put in the garden to make it a bit more personal. So um, and she really does make the place look lovely. She's right into her flowers and everything, which is awesome. So let's have a look at some of the, the things she's got down here, shall we? She's got this little mushroom thing here. And here's, that gnome's been there for ages. That was one of the first things we got. So we've got these globe lights. We have a, a rabbit down there. I think there's a Buddha over here somewhere. Yes, there it is, Buddha. Buddha in the garden. There's a thing over there. And over here we have... Not really in the right place, that is it? The solar thing, so there we go. That is the garden, folks. Right, I'm making boiled eggs. Uh, on a roll for Rosie. Now last time I made them she said they were too dry so this time I have to chop them up in a cup with a bit of butter and then put them on the roll and a touch of salt as well. <sighs> now as you can see the fridge is looking a little bit bare folks and we've got some strawberries, yogurt, some cheese and of course we have our condiments down there that's about it and then of course we're running out of milk. Oh dear. Another thing about Rosie is she likes a cup of tea to be just the right colour. It's got to be the, uh, I'm sure there's a, a chart somewhere where she's got the colours, you know, dark, it's, it's just not enough milk and too much milk, so it's got to be just the right colour. And I think I've got that one just about right today, hopefully. Okay, folks, I'm off on a uh, on a chore. Yes, I've got to go and get some shopping. Uh, Rosie sent me out. And I've got a list here. This is what I've got to get. Asda bleach times two, because seemingly you get two for a pound fifty. Straws, milk, toilet rolls, Andrex 1249, white or peach. Potatoes, and because uh, we're going to bake potatoes for tea and possibly some cold chicken. Salad stuff, Kit Kats, rich tea biscuits and ale. So that's what we've to get. We have one of Rosie's mini bags. We're actually in Rosie's car because I'm going to try and get this uh, up and running because it hasn't been on the road for like uh, two, two or three weeks since she had her accident and seemingly the handbrake could seize. So I'm going to take it on a little run up to Asda. Now it is with fearful intrepidation that I go in intrepidation, trepidation, fearful trepidation that I go into this uh, Asda today because I've never been into the cleaning product aisle. I don't think anyway, and I'm sure it's going to be full of oranges and yellows and smelly stuff and offers and oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's just do this. We can be strong together and let's just get into this aisle and get um, all this cleaning products that I need. We made it folks. However, I forgot to get something. I forgot to get straws. Ah, damn it. Oh well. Right folks, I've done my chores. I've decided I'm going to go and have a bacon roll and a cup of tea uh, in Forte's again. It was such a good one I had last week, so I'm going to go and have another one. Yes. Now, when I was sitting here last week, um, I got back to work and this week, oh, I'll start the bit again. I was at work this week and a woman said to me, oh Gordon, did I see you outside having a, a cup of tea at Forte's Cafe? And I was like, uh, yes. So she must live over the road there somewhere. So she must have, uh, must have seen me. Right folks, 
I'm in Stobswell and I am in perhaps the worst phone box in the country. Look at this, it's not even got a door on it. It is completely manky, I don't even know if it's working or not. We'll have a listen, see if there's a dial tone. Hello bro, yeah I know, so I can make today man. Yeah, I know, all right, see you later bro, bye. No, no ringtone, so. This is quite possibly the worst phone box in Scotland. There it is, folks. Well, not even a door on it. Well, somebody just tooted at me there, I don't know who you were, mate, but hello and uh, see you soon. Sure. Uh, Stop the face. Right, folks, well, I couldn't help myself. I, I went and I visited Sheila in the inspired vapor shop and I got a dollar sign spinner because I haven't got one of those yet so the collection is slowly building. I thought what I could do is maybe have a spin-off to see which spinner lasts the longest. So anyway there's a new one for the collection. But don't tell Rosie. in Eliza Street which is a very short street it's what one two maybe three blocks long with doors at the end of it which one is Dundee's shortest street Eliza Street here I have to go and have a wee investigation try and find the shortest street in Dundee I've just got home and I've realized I've lost I've lost I've left I haven't even bought rich tea biscuits damn I'll be in trouble and straws as well 